Welcome to United by Trucks. Today we're taking a look at an abbreviated version of our most watched episode of 2019. And man, we are pumped to bring this content to you. It's an abbreviated version of, well, you probably can guess, the 1967 Barn Fine Resurrection GMC short bed that myself, John, and Alex Walker, who is obviously the important player, most important player in this video because he purchased the truck and asked us to come in and film it. So we're really, really pumped that we were able to do that. We released the original video back in June. As I mentioned, this is a shorter version of that video just to throw a tribute to this particular video and what it meant for the channel in 2019. So let's jump right in to the abbreviated version of the 1967 GMC Barn Fine Resurrection. We're here to dig out a 67 GMC that's been in this barn for 20 years. His dad bought it new, his mother drove it for years, and uh, after she passed away, he rolled it in the barn. Man, in a barn we are in. Look at this thing. Hope everybody brought their guns. Man, what do we have here? Good Lord, Alex. This is insane. Barn find. That's a legit barn find right here. In uh, I think October 1967 from Farmer Auto Sales in Elberton, Georgia. Over by where the Farm Bureau building's at now. And uh, he kept it all the years. He died in 87, and then Mama drove it till she died in 94, and I drove it a few years, and that's it. Okay. It was rebuilt by John Rice Garage at about 125,000, and it's got like, what, 141 on it now, so the... 141,000 miles? Yeah, so the, and that's the original miles, everything. How long has it been sitting here? 18, 19 years or something. So since about 2000? Yeah, because my wife got cancer then and I lost all interest in Understood. doing that, doing anything. I was going to restore it, but then never been, it's never been, had a major wreck. It had a fender bender, but, sure. uh, you know, a front bumper bender. So Daddy liked to uh, partake of some spirits every <laughs> once in a while. Don't we all? Has it ever been repainted? I think so. Okay. I don't, I don't know. I think he had it done. He fixed something other than had it done when I was in the uh, service overseas. What year do you think that would have been? In the 70s. In wow. The, well, no, in the, uh, yeah, it would have been in the 70s. Wow. Yeah, I, when I came back, I lived in Atlanta till the late 70s before I moved back here. Well, that might as well be original paint then. Yeah, it's the original <laughs> color. Yeah, right, the 503 yeah. light green. Yeah, Yeah, because he was too cheap and too tight to change <laughs> colors on one. Because that would have cost more. That's right, that's right. And everything plain Jane, six cylinder straight shift. Yeah, the one thing I uh, I noticed about it that I was talking to Alex about, it has no fender emblems, which you could get on a GMC N67. But they cost extra money. They cost extra money, right. Yeah. So this one does not have fender emblems. It has the, the unique grill, 67 only grill, where the GMC is actually in the grill and not lettered on the hood. I mean, there's a lot of really cool things about this truck. Yeah, he, and I'm just glad to see that you put it under a in a barn to get it out of the weather, you know. Oh yeah, I've kept it out of the weather. Well, I think we're gonna uh, we're gonna discuss how to get this thing out of here, and then we're uh, we're gonna get out of your hair as quickly as possible. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> yeah, I just got that on video. So as you can see, I'm shaking a little bit, but we got the 67 GMC out, and it's Alex's. He beat me to it. I'm a little upset about it, but I'm not real upset because we got to film it all. How cool is that? Alex, what do you think about this thing? I think it's, man, it's solid. It's real cool. I'm just yeah. glad y'all glad could be here, be part of it. Oh man, thanks for the opportunity. Yeah, this is a really, really cool thing. So we're gonna get this truck loaded up, headed back to, uh, I guess back to Gainesville, right? Yeah. So Alex backing up the trailer right now. Just to give you a little bit more information about this truck, it's a 67 GMC short bed base model truck. You can see it doesn't even have fender emblems. It's got the one year only 67 grill with the GMC embossed in the grill, no hood letters, small back window, straight six three on the tree really a base model truck but a super cool truck you can see and as you've probably heard earlier in the footage this truck was painted you can see my glasses fogging up here because it's so humid and hot the truck was repainted sometime in the late 70s but other than that man the patina is still there it's amazing how well this truck has been preserved sitting in that barn i mean i'm just really really blown away so we're gonna get this thing loaded up get it back to Hall County and keep you updated on what Alex does with it so all right guys so you can see what we got it loaded up 67 GMC short bed legit barn find I gotta say this is and you can probably tell by the footage this is one of the coolest discoveries recoveries that we've ever been a part of and big thanks to alex walker from walker performance tuning for asking us to come along this thing is just really really cool and a super duper unique truck alex you feeling good about it oh yeah we uh we're ready to get it back to gainesville so we yeah. appreciate you guys being here and for all the help and uh we're ready to get on the road absolutely hall county here we come In case you were wondering, this rascal's really getting a bath now. It is pouring down rain. I mean pouring. Looks like they're gonna pull in this gas station. We're gonna pull in right behind them. My goodness. So we're headed home. We're somewhere still in East Georgia. Headed back home and the rain has been unstoppable. And it is giving this truck an unbelievable bath. That's the first time that truck has seen any rain in 20 years. Isn't that awesome? Look how cool that thing is cleaning up to be. What you think about it, man? Mother Nature doing her work. Mother Nature doing her work. Yeah. How's she looking in that rear view back there? Keep looking up at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would be too. Man, how cool is it to look back at that footage and just think, you know, we may not get to do that again. We don't run across these barn finds that are actual real barn finds very often. And that was just a really, really cool thing to be able to dig out. So appreciate you tuning in. If this is your first time watching the channel, please consider subscribing. We put out all sorts of classic truck related content 
barn finds, LS swaps, full frame ups, whatever. We're actually into all sorts of stuff as it relates to classic trucks. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Definitely smash that thumbs up down below the screen if you like what you've seen and leave a comment. Let us know what your favorite part of the barn find resurrection video is. We'll catch you next time right here on United by Trucks. Cue the music.